Good afternoon everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about bioenzymes and I'm going to show you how we can make bioenzymes which is a very effective cleaning agent uh, using all the ingredients that you find from around you and especially using all the waste products that you have at home. Okay, so first let's look at what do we need while making bioenzymes. Uh, the first ingredient is jaggery that you see here. Uh, it can be black jaggery, it can be like a sugarcane jaggery or what we say khajurka gur. Okay, it can be khajurka gur also. And the second is uh, you need citrus peels wherein uh, uh, all the lemon that you've had, all the, in this season you'll get a lot of oranges. Okay, so stock up on all the peels of lemon oranges. That needs to be the major ingredient. Apart from that, you can have banana peels and you can have some other, like this is persimmon, so you can have some other fruit peels also. But majority of it needs to be citrus peels like lemon or um, oranges. So that's number two. And uh, number three, so these two are additional items that you can add. Okay, it is not necessary, but if you add them, it will have antiviral properties. Okay, so it will make your uh, bioenzymes even more effective. So the third one is aloe vera. Okay, so if you have aloe vera of any kind, you can keep it. And uh, the fourth one is what we say Titiapati here. Uh, the scientific name is Artemisia vulgaris. So this is again a very, very effective uh, antiviral plant that we see around us. Okay, apart from this, what you need is uh, an old, any old plastic container that you can find in a sweet shop or if you see lying around. It's just that it has to be airtight. So just ensure that the uh, when you lock the uh, uh, jar, the plastic jar, it needs to lock in like this, right? So it can be of any kind, this one or this one, okay? So just to help you facilitate this entire process, ensure that you have like any uh, one liter bottle that you have around, that you find easily around you. Uh, that will help you measure the quantities, okay? And uh, apart from that, what else you need is a pen and uh, you need uh, something to write and stick onto the bottles that will tell you what are ingredients that you added. Okay, so let's move on to the next stage now. In the next stage, what uh, you will have to do is keep this in mind in terms of the ratio uh, as to what ratio do we, do we add these items. Okay, it's a very simple ratio. It is one part of jaggery or gourd to three parts of citrus peels uh, and the other uh, ingredients that you're putting in, that is uh, your titipati and your aloe vera. So all of that included needs to be three parts. Uh, that needs to be added to 10 parts of water and that needs to go into a jar that makes it 15 parts. Okay, so to put it simply, if you've got 100 grams of this, then this needs to be altogether 300 grams. In that case, then the water needs to be one liter and uh, then your uh, jar needs to be able to hold 1.5 liters of water, right? So, uh, so the next step now, what we need to do is measure the uh, volume of the jars that we have, okay? And then we will calculate as to how much jaggery that goes in there uh, and how much citrus peels and aloe vera and titapati goes in there. If it was 1.5 liters, like I said, it's simple, 100 grams, 300 grams, one liter of water that goes into 1.5 liters. But then the quantity is vary. Okay, so let's see how much uh, of volume uh, is the container. And then uh, we will use this to measure the volume. It will make it easier. Uh, to measure the weight of these, just ensure that you have a small measuring device. And then uh, to ensure that you have something to measure, just carry like a small paper bag that you can put your jaggery and peels into and a bag that you can just sling it and measure it. Okay, so let's... Uh, let me fill up and then get back to you as to how we measure the thing. So what I'm doing here is I've taken this one liter to measure the container volume. Next that you do is uh, mix the whole thing up, your aloe vera, your uh, citrus peels and uh, your titipati. Uh, like I said earlier, ensure that uh, you have the citrus peels, uh, that's the main ingredient, aloe vera and uh, your titipati is an additional thing that you can do. Okay, so now once we have this, 
meanwhile, what we have done earlier is measured the volume for all of this, and we realized that this is about 2.5 liters. So if that's the calculation, what you need to do is find out what is the amount of jaggery that you need to do. So the simple calculation is, like I said, if this is uh, the container volume is 15, so then this becomes 15x, okay, equals to uh, 2.5 liters. So then you find the value of x. In this case, the value of the jaggery, which is x, is uh, 166 grams, which is what we measured here. Okay, so we've got jaggery. Now, uh, three times of jaggery, that, we, that is three times of 166 grams, that's 500 grams is what you need to measure. So like I said, get a small carry bag, uh, see, so that it's easier for you to measure. Just add all of that in. So we need about half a kg of this. Might be a little more, so I'm take it out. seems just about perfect. It is about half a kg. Okay, so the next step is now we've got half a kg of your citrus peels, aloe vera and uh, titipati. And then we've got uh, jaggery, 166 grams. Uh, like I said, then the value of water is um, 10 times the value of jaggery. So jaggery we were using as 166 grams. Uh, so then the 10 times of that based on the volume container is 1.6 liters of water is what you need to add in this container which is 2.5 liters. Okay. So that's just a little more than one and a half liters. Okay. So this is my measuring bottle. So I'll just fill up a one liter here. And then another 600 fill that up. Like I said, the first ingredient, which is jaggery, which in this case is 166 grams. We add that. Then we add uh, 500 grams of the citrus peels plus aloe vera plus chitipati. Citrus peels, uh, you can have, like I said, lemon, you can have uh, oranges, and uh, you can have uh, pomelo, or locally what we say, uh, bokote. So the more diversity that you have in the peels, the better it is. But it just works fine if you just have one kind of peel also at home. So here we are adding a bit of one or two banana peels also to ensure that there is more uh, diversity of microorganisms. So that's what we've added here. So this is just about filling up the bottle. Looks nice and colorful too. Now in this, what you do, the final ingredient, okay, that you add here so that the process becomes much faster is the mother culture or bioenzyme that has already been prepared earlier. Okay. So what you do is just add a little more, not to the brim, just add a little more of the finished bioenzyme culture. And then when you seal it, ensure that there is a little gap, just about where just about 100 ml or 50 ml of gas formation uh, can take place. Okay, so this is how it looks like. Um, we'll make the other one also and then we'll get back to you. Okay, we've got lots of bioenzymes to make today. What I wanted to highlight was that uh, whenever you make bioenzymes, uh, ensure that you always have a label at the end of it in which you mention the day that you made the bioenzymes. Very important because then you'll be able to know when to close it, when to open it. And uh, also, uh, write down the ingredients that you've added here, okay, and the quantity of those ingredients because that will help you track the progress of your bioenzymes. Alright, so remember now after you've uh, done this, for the first one week, you open it once a day. Second week, you open it once in two days. 
third week you open it once in three days on the fourth week you open it just once in a week okay so thank you